Welcome to Pace IT's Career and Entrepreneurship Presentations. My name is Mary Keeney and this presentation covers the introduction to career management. We will cover the importance of managing your career, what is career management, and when and where do you start managing your career. The Business Dictionary defines career management as the lifelong, self-monitored process of career planning that involves choosing and setting personal goals and formulating strategies to achieve them. This is a lifelong effort because it requires constant moderate monitoring and adjustments. You must pay close attention to what's going on in your chosen industry, which will allow you to see what additional skills and knowledge will re are required for you to move to the next skill level in your career. It's also a lifelong process because you may be changing jobs every five to seven years, not only in different positions within the same company, but different positions with different companies. The pros of managing your own career are that you are in more control of your career. You know which direction you are going, what type of job you're looking for, and you can develop a positive track record showing your steady advancement. You may still have a lack of job satisfaction if you just fall into a position that you maybe didn't plan for, or if you do plan for a position that you're in and you don't like it. If you do have this job lack of job satisfaction, the positive thing about it is that you can change it by setting new goals and achieve and the steps to achieve them. The first step in avoiding being in the wrong job is to understand what makes up career management. There are multiple components including education, values, interests, experience, networking, and skills. We're going to go into each of these individually starting with education. Your college degree or certification is the first one that will help you get started in, in the industry you choose. Throughout your career, this should not be the only one. This doesn't mean that you need to get multiple degrees, but you will want to continue professional development. This can be accomplished by taking a short course or a certi additional certification at a local college or from lynda.com or Coursera. There are also many other learning websites. The cost of the classes can run from free to a few hundred dollars. The investment of time and money on your effort will pay off in the long run when you will be able to get a better paying job or a job at a better company. Sticking with the same skill set and ignoring the new trends in your industry will only make a dinosaur of you in the industry. Your current skills will help you, like your education. This will help you get a foot in the door, however you will need to continue to advance in your plan. You'll need to keep your skills up to date. That means experimenting with new technologies in your spare time, if your workplace doesn't facilitate it. Or you might find that hobbies actually provide you with skills you can use in your job. Work and life experience are also important. What you may lack in work experience, you might have in life experience and vice versa. Experiences like traveling to foreign countries or working as a volunteer for a nonprofit organization can be part of those life experiences. They can show qualities like risk-taking or compassion or show maturity from a very early age or leadership or even leadership skills. Mm -hmm. Your interests are also important. Your interests and hobbies can play a role in your career for two reasons. First, they can enhance your skills and add value to your resume. For example, if your day job is writing code and your hobby is building computers from scratch, the knowledge of how the hardware works will enhance your programming skills. You will know how to better, better leverage the hardware's capabilities in your program. Another way is through your hobbies, uh, which might not have anything to do with your work, but they give you a sense of fulfillment and happiness. They let you express your creativity, and you can bring that fulfillment back into your job, which will add to your overall happiness. Values become very important, especially when you're deciding on what type of company to work for. For example, if you feel very strongly about the environment, you might not think about working for an oil company. However, they may have an environmental conservation division, and that might be a best fit for you. So you want to consider what is important to you and what your values are when you're considering what company to work with. 
Networking is also extremely important. It is important to have not just close connections like friends, uh, family, and coworkers, but loose connections like friends of associates, uh, friends of neighbors, former colleagues who have switched industries, or former classmates. Nurturing these loose connections by sending a hello email every once in a while or sending an article that you think they might be interested in. That can help foster those relationships. Also using uh, online networking sites like LinkedIn will allow you to connect with people that are geographically far away from you. You can learn what type of issues other professionals in your industry are facing, how they solve those issues, and what you can, and you can learn from their experience. It is also a place where you can post your own advice, experience, and establish yourself as an expert. You can make additional loose connections through networking events, conferences, volunteer work, and uh, various online forums. Professional organizations can help you network and also help you to know what skills you might need to be developing. They also oftentimes will offer online courses or webinars to help you develop those skills. So understanding what is important to you, you can do this through a, self, a regular self-assessment. Your work values as well as your personal values will change over time. What you, wanted, what you want in your 20s might be different than what you want in your 30s, 40s, 50s, or 60s. So continued regular self-assessment is very important. So in this presentation, we have covered the importance of managing your career, what is career management, and when and where do you start managing your career. Hope this has been helpful for you, and thank you for watching our video.